what we can do now is thickness the stem. We'll take a few of these big lumps of epoxy off with the hand planer and then run it through the thicknesser and then hopefully before we get to two inches we'll have a nice clean side this side as well. still got a bit more to go but we'll just check this for flatness, straightness at the moment just so that we don't go compounding any errors that we've got. That's looking pretty good there, it seems to be touching all the way across. It's handy to because most spirit levels now have got a little bevel edge on them, if you just tip them onto their side, you get a, a much better point of contact with your piece of timber you're trying to level up. But there's no huge triangles of daylight under there, so that's good. That means now we've got two good sides that are parallel to each other. So we can now choose which side we take down. As you can see, our first side has still got a few voids here. This one here I'm not too worried about because that's where the rebate for the planking is going to be. Um, but it'd be good now to take some more off this side to get it as flat and as solid wood as the other. Just checking the width now, we're down to what will hopefully be our final run through the planer. Checking the width of anything with a, a tape measure, because the little metal clip on the end is free to move, it's always, it always makes more sense, more accurate to measure from a one inch marker or something. So there you can see we're just whatever that is, 3 sixty-fourths, bigger than a 2 inches. So one more skim through the planer should get us exactly there. Well that's our stem now 
plain to the thickness we want it. The next job is to stick it in the vise, just clean up the odd bits of glue inside and outside and then we'll mark our centre lines and use the pattern we've got mark out where it needs to be cut, trimmed whatever else needs to happen to it so what we want to do is just clean up the glue on the, the faces of our stem We can do that with scrapers, spoke shaves, virtually whatever we like, pen knives. Get your pen knife and just scrape away the glue and then resharpen your pen knife. But one of the easiest ways just one of these brown foam sanding attachments. You do have to be a little bit careful to try and keep the sander flat, but if you go over it lightly you can soon tell if you're sanding more one side than the other. And we're only just skimming the glue off really. The next job is to mark a centre line both on the outside of the stem and the inside so we've got reference points for our shaping, our fitting and just a good old marking gauge is ideal, that's what it was made for. We've got a two inch stem so we can just put a pencil mark where we think the middle is. Set up our gauge, put a mark from one side, check from the other, if, there, if you end up with one line that's fine, I've ended up with two, so we just need to extend the gauge a little bit. Try it again, that's better. Check the gauge hasn't moved, that's good. So that's the outside. Do the same on the inside.
There we've got our centre marked. 